Okay, let's finish up this newsletter page now. And what we're going to do is get the date of the newsletter on here. And then also, uh, just make this old newsletter, rather than having it be a sentence here, we'll just make a link somewhere underneath here. So first of all, look at the date on. The, what we're going to do is copy this label. You know, we're, I'm trying to put the date on here with this label. But we moved it outside of the... Uh, let me grab it here. Well, let's do it this way. First of all, let's just move this whole heading to back inside our template. And that's the reason we're not seeing the date on there. It was outside the template. So when it tries to grab the date from the database, it doesn't happen. So let's save this and take a look at it. So now we have the date on here. But rather than doing it this way, I'm going to make it... Uh, make it like a subheading underneath here, underneath the newsletter. So I'm going to come in here and take this chunk of code and move it outside the H2. But I'm going to put it inside a div um, that we'll give a class to. Call it newsletter subtitle, and then we'll stick this close tag over here. And then this newsletter subtitle, then we'll add some code up in here in the style section of just this document. Oh, I've got to make sure it matches. I'll call it new letter rather than newsletter. So news letter subtitle. And inside here, I'm going to give it a background of black. We'll just try this and again we can change this later in a color of white. And since it's a link that we're going to... Oh, I'm sorry, this is the date, right? So we'll leave it this way. So let's save this. Take a look. Oh, and we're missing the close tag for the label. So let's go uh, fix that. I left it up here in the H2. Okay, so we've got this. Um, this again is looking more like what I want it to look like. But, you know, let's, we'll make it the same color blue as the ending, and we'll get rid of the space here. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll actually just put it up in that same, in that same div as the H2. Oh, I guess we can't really do that, can we? Um, we can do it this way. In our item template, we'll make this a div. And we'll move the subtitle, or the content title, up into here. And then get rid of that. We'll get rid of this one here. And then this way, this label will be low the H2 rather than being in the H2. And then uh, I'll have to change the text color here on this. But let's give this a shot. So this way they'll all be in the same blue box rather than being in separate boxes. And the padding we matched up. Okay, so this is looking a little bit better. Um, again, then with H2 and the div coming, or the other thing coming after it, it's this is a little far down. So I'm just going to tweak this. I'm just going to you know keep tweaking this till I move it up and make it look like a subheading. And I don't want quite this big a gap here. So... Uh, anyway, 
that's the stuff I'm going to be monkeying with. If you want to keep watching, you can watch. Um, so on this, to move this guy up, what I'm going to do is come in here and, and assign him a class. We'll see if this works. We'll give him a CSS class equals, and again, I'm going to call it newsletter subtitle. <coughs> and we'll get rid of the, this stuff here. And what we'll do is say um, position relative, and just to scooch him up a little bit. And then we'll say his top make it minus 1x and then uh, I'm going to also make the font size a little bit smaller font size 0.8 M so let's take a look at this okay so we changed the font size it didn't really move up much so let's try changing that a little bit Let's make it uh, minus one. Let's make it minus two m. And really jump it up there, and then we can maybe bump it down as we need to. Okay, so that's a little too tight. Let's just make it one point five m. Good. So that's looking good. Um, at least I think that looks good. Um, so let's just leave it there for this one. Then we'll come back on the other, the next one, and uh, add a link to the old newsletter. So we'll stick it up here in the header someplace.